Welcome back. In our video today, we are going to take 1144 on its paces on some city streets. We're going to do a bit of a regression test. This is the original test I did when I first got FSD beta on 113.6. We are going to try it out a few scenarios, do some roundabouts, some blind left turns, and see how well 1144 responds. As you can see, we are stopping off here. This is a busy street. There's lots of vehicles coming from the left and right. FSD beta is taking a look. It's inching out slowly. And whenever it sees that there could be a little bit of break, there is a speeding car coming out on the right here that's slowing it down, giving it cause to pause there. But it's doing the right thing. It's not rushing ahead right now. Still inching forward. And it'll be interesting to see how it performs when it actually goes for it and how assertive it is sees its break right now and now it's going for it yeah fantastic job right now that was really good it was very safe it wasn't over cautious and then when it decided to make its move it went with uh, a lot of purpose there so that was excellent good job there and we are now going to measure to see how it performs driving through these winding roads right now and oh, for some reason the signal came on there for a second don't know why it did that and you know it's doing a good job right now again staying in the middle of the road nice and smooth i like driving on this road and testing fsd on it because sometimes there's pedestrians that walk on the road i'd like to see how fsd responds to them and usually does a very good job going around them there nothing eventful here good job nice and smooth we have a right turn coming up here good job not herky-jerky on that it was smooth and I think that's gonna be a theme hopefully that I see uh, on this drive is how smooth the turns are and purposeful the turns are on 1144 I've, uh, I've really noticed that on my drive so far okay, good job there driving nice and smooth We've got a right turn coming up here. This is gonna st stop the, uh, or end the first leg of our trip. Just wanna see how it does this right turn right now, and just to confirm if it's gonna continue with the nice, smooth turns. You know, one thing I'm noticing is that it's really turning like how I would turn the car there. It's not abrupt, it's not sharp. There we go, it does a turn. Look, look at the wheel there, nice and smooth, good acceleration going into there. Excellent right turn, excellent right turn. Um, I do notice that that has improved since 11.36 a little bit. It's a little bit of an improvement, it's, but it's still an improvement, and I noticed that. It shows a little bit of maturity there. So I think uh, i got to give kudos to the engineers at Tesla for doing that. We're going to do one last left turn here. And we've got, oh, we've got a pedestrian who's coming across there. FSD, you can you can feel that it's waiting for it. It's not it's not herky jerky, but it's taking its time. It knows that the pedestrian is not going to be getting in front of them. Does a good job there. Excellent job. All right, now for this next part, we are going to be going into a blind left turn on a very busy street, and then that's going to lead us into a neighborhood where we're going to try out a couple of roundabouts. Stopping here. Again, taking its time. Now, again, these aren't these turns I'm making. They're all relatively blind. Like there's bush and trees that's sort of blocking the traffic. So it's uh, inching up ahead, doing the right thing there. As you can see, there's not really a defined line on this street. You can see just kind of a an old crack in the middle there. So it's doing a good job, relatively staying to the right. We've got a little blind left curve coming up here. Oh, we've got a car speeding up right at us, and oh, that was fantastic. That was fantastic. Oh, we got another one coming up right here and goes around it, doesn't even hesitate, not even once. It was not overcautious there. It just stayed to the right and went right by those cars. Very, very impressive. That is definitely something that's improved since 11.36. And we got a right turn here. Again, got an inch forward because we have a lot of bushes on the left that's blocking the road and then moving there. Okay, good job. We're going to just go through a little curve here and then we are going to be doing a bit of a blind left turn onto a main street where we've got lots of traffic coming from the left and right. I assume uh, we're driving just at the beginning of rush hour traffic here. Good job there. Didn't get spooked out by that car at all. Nice and smooth. Oh, I like that. Okay, here we're going to get to this left turn right now. 
Let's see if it can take advantage of the uh, Tesla cameras here. I can't really see anything to the left right now. It's moving forward and I can see a little bit on the right. You can see there I am looking on the right. And wow, well, there it's going. I can't even see what's going on the left. And yep, it did it. Wow, fantastic job. Absolutely, that, that is the benefit of FSD sometimes is those cameras can see things that you cannot. And it did a fantastic job there. Now it needs to be getting into the right lane right now because at this intersection coming up, I'm turning right. So it should have gone into that right lane. There was more than enough space. There's no vehicles. So it's putting us in a bit of a difficult position right now that when the traffic starts again, it's gonna have to get into the right lane. So I'm gonna have to get ahead of somebody there. So let's see how it manages that. Yeah, as you can see, there's vehicles on the right there. I've got a whole line of vehicles here. Let's see, yeah, it's indicating. And yeah, it's letting that car go by fast. So, uh, there we go. And now, yep, someone's letting me in. So that was good. So it did a good job there. It's gotta go one right one more time. Okay, good. So it did a good job there. Now, it, if it did the right thing at the beginning and go into the right lane a little bit more proactively, it wouldn't have had to manage that. But overall, it did, it did an okay job there. We are just gonna be driving right into a development and we are going to be hitting the first of our roundabouts. I'm not expecting much of the roundabouts from what I've seen from 1144. I've heard before is that it hasn't really done much. I think the version 12 that was tested can handle roundabouts a lot better. I say version 12, obviously that's still not out to the public right now, but no. fingers crossed on that. We are just gonna inch up here to our right turn. It's just coming up here at the next lights. Right, let's see when it signals here, moves over to the right and then starts signaling. I would like to see it signal a little earlier. This right turn, again, look at the wheel, nice and smooth. Good acceleration, fantastic job there. The turning is just fantastic on 11.44, I find, in general. Got some people who are crossing the street here, not spooking out FSD. Okay, we're coming out to the first roundabout. Let's see if it goes through or if it stops. And as expected, it stops. Yeah, you can see it still struggles with this. It's looking to the left. You can look at the wheel. It's kind of mm, shifting all over the place, yeah. No, it definitely needs to improve on that. Definitely needs to improve on that. I had a vehicle behind me, so I had to make sure it kept going there. So hopefully, you know, in the future, they improve that. And definitely, they need to do that because it can really take you out of the whole autonomous driving experience when you get to a roundabout. Unless you manually intervene, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of an eye opener. All right, here we're gonna go to the second roundabout. Now this one, we're just gonna be going right. And yeah, even with that, even with a simple right, no cars coming up, it comes to a full stop. It's being cautious because it doesn't know better right now. And hopefully they improve that and program that in so it can uh, accommodate that. So again, um, yeah, that needs a big, big improvement there um, from FSD. Um, we've got another roundabout that's just up ahead right now. Um, it's taken off the navigation. I'm gonna activate FSD just to see how it manages that without the mapping data. I assume it's just gonna go right at the first exit, which will be turning right at the roundabout immediately versus going around it. Otherwise, it wouldn't know what to do. Let's see, yep, yeah, oh, there's a car that's really speeding there. And yeah, as expected, it went right. So nothing shocking over there. Uh, we're gonna go in the other direction, try out these uh, first two roundabouts again from another direction to see how it manages it. Again, got the signal going on and slowing down. So let's take a look at the wheel and just see if at least it's smooth when it goes around. And yeah, you can see it's just, I hate when the wheel shakes like that. You know, that's something we see a lot less on 11.44, but with these roundabouts, it still struggles with that. So again, something to aim for in the future to improve. Okay, we're gonna drive up to the final roundabout here. Again, doing a good job staying in the middle of the lane. Nice, nice driving on winding roads. We've got a car parked here on the right. Let's see if it goes around. Oh, and we've got an oncoming vehicle here. Let's see if it does anything. No, confident, confident. Goes around, it gets back in the lane, just like you or I would do. Fantastic job. Again, I've seen beta before kind of struggle with that. It gets very oh, apprehensive. 
will start breaking needlessly, but now, no. 11.4.4 is a much more confident version of that. Alright, we got some joggers on both sides of the street here. They don't need sidewalks. Okay, no. It didn't stop or anything there, which is fine. It shouldn't be stopping. It was confident. Uh, coming up to the final roundabout here, not expecting anything to happen. And yeah, it just stops right in front of the kind of like the merge sign. And yeah, goes around it. At least the wheel was a little bit smoother this time, so yeah. All right. Roundabouts definitely need a fix. We're going to try a couple of left turns here now. Uh, I did this left turn on my initial FSD drive, and it really had a problem with the oncoming traffic. It was really spooked out here. Let's see how it manages here. And look at the wheel again. Yeah, you see how smooth that is? Oh, so smooth. So smooth. Fantastic. Good acceleration there. Good job. Good job on that left turn. Fantastic. We've got one more left turn coming up right here at a major intersection. And we'll be coming up to it in a couple of seconds. And no cars in front of us, so we're just going to wait for the light to turn. After we turn left here, we're going to have to get into the right lane very quickly as we're going to have to turn right onto a street. All right, light's turning. And here it goes. A wheel turn could be a little bit smoother than that. I've seen you do better on this drive, uh, FSD. Now you need to get into the right lane immediately. Otherwise, you're going to miss your street soon. And I don't know if there's a car behind me and on the right, but it's there's more than enough space for me to get in the right lane. Now it's going to have to wait for it to pass. And there you can see it's passing. And immediately it's going to go move over. Yeah, now it's going to move over. And you can see we almost missed it right there. Again, it, it did a good job kind of moving over to the right, but it was much too slow. It had to be much more proactive there. So I've seen it do, being proactive before, but uh, maybe I'll do a, a test on that again to see if uh, I can replicate that. That's uh, definitely something that's improving, but is not perfect still. All right, continuing to drive here. I'm just going down the strange street that had that blind curve there just to see maybe if I'm lucky and could get another oncoming vehicle. Oh, I am. I am very lucky and yep, FSD kind of moves a little bit to the right, but doesn't pause, doesn't break, continues to drive normally. Fantastic job. That's awesome. Three for three on that. I love it. All right, we're just going to accelerate over here. As you can see, doing a good job here with the turn. No issues there. I'm very, very impressed on this drive so far. Very, very few issues other really than the roundabouts. It's been very good. And we're just going to be coming up here to another left turn um, onto a major street. And let's see how it does that. As you can see, we've got uh, lots of cars that are coming across here. So let's see how it does. It's looking to the left, looking to the left, sees it up, takes it. Yeah, goes for it. Wow, look at that. And you can see here, there's lots of cars that are coming here and it just aggressively went for it. I love that. I love that because that's what I would have done. And when FSD can replicate good human driving behaviors, that's when you get confidence. And it's absolutely amazing. It's such a great experience. And you know what? This time it moved right into the right lane because I got to turn right here. So here it did a fantastic job with that. Didn't wait till the end. Got into the right lane after it turned left. Good stuff. Wow. All in all, I really enjoyed this drive. I didn't see anything that really went backwards from 1136, just nothing but advancements there. And uh, again, if we can just get better at those roundabouts, that would be fantastic. But uh, overall, very, very impressed. Let me know in the comments if uh, you know the 11.4 versions of FSD Beta have been performing well for you. I really appreciate you joining me on this drive. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Again, I enjoy your support. Take care, drive safe, and I'll see you on the roads.